Welcome to Osnap is Jan, it's me Jan, and this is part 2 of Oxenfree. Uh, before we start, I actually would like to know how you came across this video. So if you could do me a big favor, you don't even have to uh, like this video, I just want to know in the comments below how you came across this. Uh, it actually would help me a lot, I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, so I haven't really, I guess, I suppose I could read into it and see how the algorithm works for YouTube, but Hey, whatever, I'll do my own survey and do my own research and development towards how you came across this video. But anyway, this is part two. I'm just going to give you a heads up that I am going to recap real quick. So if you don't want to hear what happened in the first video, I recommend you stop now. Go to the description below and find the link for part one and watch that first. But if you are already seen part one and you're here for part two, let's do this. So... Recap real quick, I play as uh, Alex, um, she just recently got a stepbrother as of today, I, I suppose, we were just going to do the timeline starting today, and um, and they went to, they're going to this island with uh, Alex's best friend, Ren, to just kind of have like a, a beach party, apparently it's a tradition, but uh, nobody else really showed up except for Clarissa and Nona. Um, Apparently, there's a the thing that happens uh, on the beach in front of this cave where if you bring a radio to it and, and tune in the frequency right and stand in the right area, weird flashing light happens in the cave. Um, Jonas is a stepbrother. He decided to be uh, very curious and wanted to go deeper in and try to figure out what's going on. And uh, me playing as Alex, I decided to be curious and figure out the same thing. Uh, one thing led to another, we figured out the source of the light and the sound, and it ended up just teleporting us out of the cave into another part of the island, but the thing is about that is, nobody is around, I, all of her friends and everything are spread out throughout the island, and we're trying to figure out what's going on. So, when it comes to the character, right now, all we have is Alex, myself, stepbrother's Jonas, best friend is uh, Ren, uh, Clarissa is one of the other girls. I wouldn't consider her a friend, but she's definitely a mean girl. Somebody she, that she know acquainted, I guess you could say. And uh, Nona is um, Clarissa's friend, who's also is Ren's crush. So there's, there's a lot of like story that ties into together. So um, yeah, that pretty much covers everything. But anyways, uh, let's uh, start into this. Um, I just want to let you guys know that the main screen is different too. Right now, if you look... Uh, that's Jonas right there on on the far left. I, I just noticed it. So I think if you were to quit and save, it gives you a different uh, title screen, which is awesome because it didn't look like this from part one. Um, let, let's get started, and uh, I'm going to try to make an hour-long video, as always. Each part is going to be at least an hour long, and yeah. If you're here for the ride, I appreciate it. Um... Like I said, it's definitely going to be a long video, so stick with me. Let's continue. Oh, wow. Oh, no, it goes right into the game like this? Oh, that's interesting. Hey, just for me, why'd you let me flip the switch back at the bridge? To be honest, I expected you to just pull ahead and do it yourself. But you didn't. Because you wanted to, that's why. Pretty simple, really. All right. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole- Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. And the land, you know, as you can tell, it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks. Wait a minute, I already done this part. This is actually near the end of the, uh, part one, where we finally catch up to Ren. So I'm just gonna fast forward to after this whole event to when we cross over to the bridge. Yeah. So if you want to watch this part, go back to part one uh, if you haven't seen it yet or, or didn't get to the end of the video. It just basically uh, at one point when we got separated, we made it to uh, Ren to catch up with and see what was going on. So um, I'm gonna play this part again. We're gonna skip ahead and then we're gonna go towards the next part of what we decide on. All right. <laughs> right back at you. Milner Ho? Milner Ho. 
All right, so uh, we did the whole Ren sequence thing. Again, if you miss it, it was at the end of part one. It's, it's kind of trippy. Uh, at this point, um, you know, Ren finally made his way to Harden Tower, and a lot of weird things keep happening after we got teleported. And, you know, we're trying to figure out what's going on. Now, my assumption is that this island is haunted. That's that's really it. It's either aliens or haunted. It's kind of trippy. It's creepy. Uh, I had a few jump scares. So, uh, yeah, it got weird real quick. It went from, hey, we're going to have a party on the beach over here to now we're trying to figure out where everybody is. And, you know, for me, from my point of view, I'm trying to figure out if this place is haunted and what's keeping me here and who am I talking to. It's, and the radio frequency is creepy as hell. So it's like paranormal activity with a radio frequency. Uh, so, yeah, uh Let's get right into it. We're, we're gonna. We're, our goal is actually to go help Clarissa. That's our next goal. So we're gonna go across right here. This arrow says we gotta go to Fort Ma uh, Milner, and uh, we're gonna cross the bridge. So let's do this. I don't know what to expect, but yeah. Again, uh, just like our part one, it's a lot of dialogue. I'm gonna try my best not to talk over it. Yeah, look at that. See that little creepy? Yeah, that, that's the demon. It's a ghost. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so minor, 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 Milner. I keep saying minor. Uh, Mil what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Oh, that's Clarissa. Clarissa. Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, can I'm at Fort here? Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something. Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded weird. Like, not just staticky weird. It could be the system or. Whatever, just the equipment making her sound deformed. Uh, no, she sounds weird. She sounds scared, actually. I should have clicked that instead. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just what do you mean? said it was decommissioned? What are you talking about? What are you even talking about right now? Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing is, like, the... It's like... It's not locked. There's like something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? Hey, oh, what do you think? I don't Keep know. Looking? Clarissa, I'm at the beach. Nona. Keep looking. I think we should keep looking. You're probably right. She does sound weird. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, this place is creepy. So this used to be a military? Okay. Milner Outpost Facilities. Okay, we're going this way. So I think it's up here. I want to go up here real quick. I, I really don't know what's up there, but that's that's Nona. We saw her earlier uh, in part one, and she refused to come with me. She ended up running off on her own. She doesn't believe that I'm an actual person. She thinks I'm some kind of entity. So, is that going to blow up? You know what? I'm going to put on the radio. This, this game's definitely rely a lot on this little radio that uh, Alex is carrying. And usually if you find for certain freq frequency, you either get the radio or uh, something happens in, I guess, in the, the creepy-ass world. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. You see that? Oh, it's getting darker. Ooh. Dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not yeah, anymore. I knew it. <laughs> What the hell is this? I don't know. Do you want to play a game? No. Ooh. Ooh, I opened the door. All right, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the- Wait, seriously? Doors no. that open themselves have been like a really bad thing in my oh, experience. Oh, we're going. Oh, really? Even automatic doors like in supermarkets? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yes. Why are you being a dick, Jonas? <laughs> You're my stepbrother. We're supposed to get along. So that's creepy, by the way. I, I did, again, when, when something blinking like that or anything, it definitely has to do with the radio. So that's a common theme so far. I'm going to go into this facility and see what's in here. Hopefully we find Clarissa in there. It was. She did sound kind of weird on the thing. I mean, Jonas doesn't believe so. He, But I, I think so. I, I don't think it sounds right. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, the door locked? No fucking way. Come on. 
Well, oh. Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. That's not good. Um, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? Uh, annoyingly, yes. <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? Uh, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to picture it. What sort of thing? What do you mean? You know, like, intense, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just, what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, uh, there must have been something, right? You know, Jonas, frankly, I don't really know, and I don't really care, so... All right, hey, it's old news, I get that. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Uh, it really wasn't a big deal. Look, it really wasn't a big deal. That's all. I believe you, I believe you. So, uh, just, uh, another recap. Uh, Michael is Alex's late brother who passed away, and after his passing, uh, Alex's parents got divorced. Uh, her father ended up marrying Jonah's mother, and this is their first night as siblings together. <laughs> so, and Michael used to date the girl Clarissa, the one that we're looking for, and she is kind of a bitch. She's kind of a bitch, like a snobby bitch. Uh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of, I don't know, kind of morbid. Yeah, it's... Oh, you want to go up there? It's just strange to I want to see what's see down here like first. This. I want to see what's down here first, Jonas. Padlock door. Ooh. All right, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. We're going to go up here first. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. It's probably a puzzle. Look at it. I like I like how... Ooh. Ooh. Clarissa! Ooh. Don't just leave me here, Jonas. Wait. Ooh. That's a mirror. That's creepy, too. Jonas, what happened? Are you all right? Dude, I can't get in. Jonas, can you hear me? Dude, let me in. Oh, no. And I don't like mirrors. Mirrors are creepy, too. Oh, what is that? Oh, no, this is creepy. The fuck is going on? Let's go up here. Let's see what's up here. What's up? What's up? You're making... Oh, light switch. Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room. So, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Okay, uh... Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. I, I can't hear anything. You motherfucker. What's up? What's up? Hello? Are you... <sighs> Look, is someone there? I knew it. There? I knew that mirror. Uh, what do you... Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. His mom is dead? His mom's dead? Yeah. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... Oh, maybe Jonas' mother. Ow. I'm okay. Okay, what just happened? I don't know. Because that... That sucked. It's a... Uh... I guess a one-way lock? I just wish one thing would work here like anything works out in the real world. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're in the upside-down world. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Radio yeah, lock. No, oh, I know what something. to do. Let's go. Follow me, Jonas. I know what to do. Radio lock. We're gonna use our radio to unlock this padlock over here. Come on, Jonas. I just saw a fucking ghost of me. Alright, hold on. Now let's step back a little bit. Alright, let's see if we can catch any frequency that may unlock this. I think, uh, also, with this radio th uh, frequency thing that comes up, in order for me to... Hold on. Like, uh, for something to happen, I feel like this frequency thing for, uh, the radio has to turn red for it to affect something in my world. Whatever world this is. Upside down world, real world, whatever. As long as the screen's like this. By the way, that was creepy. I, I don't know what's going on. Oh, 
No, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm mistaken. How do I get out of here? You know what? Uh, let's really go all the way up here real quick. I didn't really explore that room. I kind of, I kind of just let him out, and then. Hold on. I kind of, yeah, I kind of let Jonas out, but I, I didn't really explore the room. Let's see what's in this room real quick. There you go. Oh, here's a padlock code, three four eighteen. It's on a list of. Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In in the mirror? The reflection was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? Yeah. I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash... Oh, boy. something happen. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm waiting. Do it. Just take a picture. Okay. Okay. Make it snappy. Get it? Ah, uh, she got jokes. She got jokes even during this whole crazy thing. And I like I like in between loading screen, it actually shows you a picture uh, of what Jonas take have taken. Like I think the first picture that happened was Ren on the boat. There was like a selfie of all three of us. And then the second one was uh three, oh. four, eighteen, and voila. I saw that. I said I saw it right here in the window. It was in the window. Okay, just making sure. I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen. So, so let's just carry on. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope that there's a. Yeah, it's gonna show you a picture right here of the mirror. Watch, right there. Boom! There it is. I knew it. I'm telling you. Uh, so yeah, they they take a lot of pictures and. In between loading screen, they use it so that you could check out what was going on. I think that's a pretty oh, cool concept. I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now. So since we're stuck anyway, go in the corner. Oh my God, go in the corner then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. Oh my God, I can't believe you. I cannot at all believe you right now. Don't look at me. I'm gonna look at you. Be quieter. It's like louder. I'm gonna look at you. <laughs> I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. <laughs> That's a weird. Uh... All right, let's go through the window, I guess. All right, let's go. Still have to find Clarissa. Ooh, we want Clarissa. There she okay, is. That I saw. Was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? She might be in trouble. She knows it's us. I don't think she'd be freaking out like this if she wasn't, like, in trouble or something. You know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having, like, a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. That's right. Uh... Yeah, Ren, Ren, Ren barely Ren moved. acted like he was underwater. The guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Alright. Hello? Is this thing... Is this... God, is this... Is this going out or? Wait, I can. Oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not. Man, maybe God, she didn't see anybody... us. I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio. Ooh, so ooh, that hurts my ear. To her. All right, so th there's a bunch of rocks right here. I'm just gonna use a radio thing, and there you go. Destroy it real quick. Boom. I don't know what that does. Oh, actually, no, I know what it does. It gives it gives me a story. Every individual, it is maintained, is enveloped in a radium, invisible to the carnal eye, and only perceived by the soul accustomed to it. That's what it is. Let's see if we go this way. Nope, that door is locked. Okay, so we gotta go in there. We saw Calista run in there. Uh, this little thing over here, he volunteered for a submarine service. I, I really don't know what that's all about. Let's go. Clarissa, I know you're in here. Ooh. Handprints? Oh, let's check out the handprints. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers uh -huh. here do or something. The evil. Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil, obviously. <laughs> First they finger paint, then they wear our lungs like scarves. Yeah, well, somebody's got to keep the traditions alive. There's a lot of uh, dialogue in here. What was that? What was that? You, you heard that, right? I did, I did. I'm sure it's just the, uh, the evil again. I heard that too. I forgot too. this step in between the finger paint and wearing our lungs. They also drop things. Wait, hold on. Can I open I'm, this? I don't even know why I ask you. 
Can, yeah, actually, can I? Yeah, let's see. I can open it. It's no. not opening. <sighs> Clarissa! I'm gonna kill her for this. Man, when we catch up, <laughs> I'm gonna tear... It's gonna be limb from limb. It's gonna be like she wasn't wearing seatbelts when I'm finished with her. God! Okay, all right. I know. She's a hoot. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. All right. All right. Frequency time. The light up here. We're going to get it going. Come on. Give us frequency. Come on, dial in. Nope. There you go. There you go. Look at this. Got it. See how it goes red? Boom. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids, want to play a game? No. What is it doing? It's playing Hangman. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. Okay. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. Oh, no. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Oh, no. Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start. So don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a class? Uh, Fort Milner, right? Yeah. I mean, that's not a... Oh, no, I don't know what school. Our friends are finding this tough. Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck's going on? It is ghost. Oh my goodness. Do you think us you're being mean. Yeah? Yeah, you're being really mean right now. So so it is Why right. I was right, it is ghosts. Why is anything? Oh, oh shit. Geez. What is going on? Ugh, come on guys. This isn't exactly fair. No, no it's not. Just keep the pointer on the button. Oh, Question two. Why well, is this upside down? Because I got it what wrong. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Cookies. Who Ten. would know that? This isn't you call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. So I had to pay attention, and I clearly fucked up the first one. Is this like a trick? There you go. Okay, look. Is this a trick? I have to read it upside down. Whatever you're gonna say, gonna bite me in the ass no matter what, because if that's the case, then. Watch your language, young lady. There's no room for sass in the armed forces. <sighs> Whatever. We are oh. island race, and through all our times, oh, the Jonas. Breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, are, are you uh doing? You okay? stay the fuck away from me. One last round, and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. Okay. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships and other ships Nine. To sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. Uh, fifty-three. In spite of changing values in the changing world. Fifty-three. Ah, You're shit. You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Damn. Now what happened? Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. 85 officers, 12 passengers. So what? Now you're gonna kill me? I got fucking it one out of three right. Another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I only got cookies right. That's the only thing that stuck out. I didn't need to get that far. Uh, Jonas? You know what? Radio frequency time. I bet you has something to do with this. Come on, real quick. You can use the scroll on your mouse, but it's a little slower, so that's why you see me dragging the mouse across. Uh, I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do. Dialogue stops, so I'm just assuming this is like a cue for me. For me to do this. It's kind of creepy. With headphones on, I don't like hearing this stuff. I like, I feel like I'm. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay. 
he's possessed. I knew it. I knew it! <laughs> like I said, I really fucked up the question, so I hope uh, it does come back and bite me in the ass later. I didn't do a good job paying attention to anything that was going on. I don't know where it is. It's right here somewhere. It's getting red. It's right here somewhere. There you go. Oh, that's the fucking devil, bro. Jonas! What's going on? The United States submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near... Is this... Are you the dead officers? That sunk on the Kanaloa? We are the sunken. We are the sunken. Oh, so these are the ghosts of sunken. What do you? Yeah, what do you want? What, Fucking gross. What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. These ghosts. The first time. Oh shit. Just time. What is going on? I only got cookies, what? right? Hi. <laughs> That was not fun. Are you feeling better? He's ghosts, man. I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. Yeah, so these are. Uh, this is just unbelievable. I want to go this way, bro. I, I'm glad the door. Anyone? Can anyone just? That's got to be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here, or use her radio and get out of here. But let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's go to this door. Can we go to this door now? Oh, now it's open. Of course it is. Alright, anything down this way? Nope, we gotta go up here. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be what? still so as not to wake her. Oh. Uh, um, uh, huh? I mean, Clarissa's asleep. Oh, man, she's possessed too. Seems like everybody gets possessed except for Alex, so. Uh, eventually something will happen. Either this is all a dream, ghosts, I don't Cross know. your fingers. I know. <sighs> Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, Don. I'm gonna ask you. Are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but yeah. there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, you just sounded off, I guess. Right? Didn't she sound off? I don't really know what she normally sounds like. Well, I mean... I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Okay, I will. Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there a... Really These officers who know your problems for and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Oh gosh, no! Jonas, wait, we're in another... We got looped again. Crap. Clarissa! Is there anything like... Can we cut her... Holy crap. <sighs> Holy crap. Clarissa? Uh. I would have swore she was in here. Clarissa? Let's do this one oh, real quick. Maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to, I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... Clarissa. Clarissa oh no, she's in the us. window. It's Alex. Are you okay? Alex, don't worry. Don't she's fucking like, judge. She's that like remnants. Remnants. Clarissa, will you Fighting wake up? Respond. Please don't, please don't judge. There will be other ships and other souls to sail them. It's all about the sun. No! Oh my god, oh, why would she do whoa. that? What the fuck just happened? Why would she do that? Uh, we're, we're, we're not, it's not like we're... She... She was... She was like possessed. I... I, I just... I, I just... Uh, this is... Jonas, this is so horrible. <sighs> is it I real? I don't even know what to... I don't even know what to do we, either. We should get to the others. Oh I, my god. I can't even imagine telling oh. them. Or... Or how to tell them. I'm... 
I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we... She knows me. This can't... Oh, God. And just the fact that I'm the one who... Who was here. And... God. Come on. Will. Wow. Please. Um, there's Whoa. no way she got up from that, Whoa. right? Like, there's no way. We both saw what happened. That... Wait, she's... Alive? There's no way. How, how is... How is that possible? I bet all the money in my pocket that no one could survive that. I don't so know. Why the, the, isn't she here? This isn't possible. Ghosts. Unless... Ghosts. Just put a pin in ghosts and say, until evidence proves otherwise. Well, regardless, good news. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It could be like a boss fight. Okay, these rocks are back. I want to see if I can trigger them again. I don't know if that changes anything. Okay, all right, all right, let's go. Let's go to the outpost. Maybe Calista went that way. I really don't know. But that was intense. We just witnessed a suicide. She killed herself. Well, let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Okay, I know where we are. Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. All right, go back to the comm tower, which is not bad. We just go down. Oh, oh wow. Good, it's a little shortcut. So we basically went around in a, in a circle. We pretty much covered this whole map. It's actually not bad. I've, I've been, because when we got teleported out of the caves down here in Beacon Beach, we went to Harden Tower, went to the bridge stand, campgrounds, relay point, and then went across to Fort Miller, then back down. It sucks, though. I don't, I don't know if it's going to bite me in the ass later when I answer all those questions wrong, but uh, I only got one out of three right, so we'll, we'll see how that turns out. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, hell yeah, man. We're back. We back. We're gonna go find Ren. Ren's not that far. Actually, it doesn't even take that. Yeah, that wasn't that far. Hopefully, Calissa made it. Maybe she was there the whole time. Ooh. Mayday. May. Oh, crap. This isn't. Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not. All right, if Ren and Nona are in the comm tower... How can anyone just stand to listen to me all day? hobble off to? Yeah, I know. Where did Clarissa go hobble off to? Fucking suicidal fucking Clarissa. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you guys are hey, watching my... Ooh. Hey, I, I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she like freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope, no luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I found like 50- Well, we're all here now. Well, I mean, except Clarissa, but we're mostly all here and we'll come up with something. I hope so. The stupid radio has been what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer it just <laughs> won't work right. Just Ren, Ren's I'm funny. I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of you know. <laughs> You're an about idiot. To start doing its thing. We, Ren, we need you sober right this now. This fucking has a second weed brownie. How could you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like it was like half of one. All right, it's just to level me out. It'll. It'll bring me back. Uh, That's what it does. Uh, yeah, now, yeah. better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out. Because if this, this screws thing us up, work. you're on summary Not probation. Getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry, I was like weird earlier. Yeah, but, you were. Hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, it's been like, ghosts. Been ghosts. No, not ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah. Yes. And it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh, oh, I got it. This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean... The boat's still here. Her house is she's behind the giant. Her house 
manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm uh... not a Burnout. Okay, so I ate like two brownies. Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are Whoa, really Whoa, that's not really. Uh, you had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. That's true. Come on, Jonas, that is true. this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows guys, she... Guys, you know yeah, there's just calm down, cameras Everybody. here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass Don't from suck you. me into this. Alex is guys, my best friend. It. Yeah, and she could hardly muster two... Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Thank Look, you, Nona, for agreeing with me. I don't care me. what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And hmm. the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly it's gonna is fail. two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is going to start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. That's true. I'm not a basket case. Shut up to you both of you. Just shut up. Both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh, my God. Or your new psycho stepbrother. All right, she doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. It's fine. Let's oh, just go. there you go. You do have the option what? to not say anything. First, you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what. And now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Him? Him? Uh, you ate another bite. Him? You're Ren, still doing. Come on. We're It'll still doing. Fine. Yeah, yeah, we're we'll still watch doing it for you. Ren, we're still, we're still doing your whole plan you came up with. Who cares if you're on the home or the away team? I want to be on the Alex team. I want to feel like, like, I want to be like, needed. Just, just fine, whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay, before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. All right. So we got everybody together. We got to find a key back in Main Street, which is Piffany Field. We go down and across. Okay, that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, definitely trippy, man. I, I really don't know what the hell's going on, but I'm all about it. And Jonas and Nona's gonna hook up. Huh. <laughs> We're still friends, Ren. If Missy's sixth grade birthday party couldn't split us up, this certainly won't. <laughs> Good luck with the thing, Alex. Wait, are you coming with me? You're coming with me, right? Ren, you're coming with me, right? No. You gonna be okay hanging back with the boy? Ren and I will be fine. He's just a little oh, cranky. Oh, he's with Ren. Not cranky. Don't okay. worry. So I'll take care of him. I was under the impression that Ren was coming with me. Never mind. Okay. So I got uh, Jonas with me again. Let's go, Jonas. I guess it's step sibling party. Yeah, I don't. I really don't know what's going on. Um. I don't think getting Adler's boat is going to solve anything. We still lost Calissa. I, I still think we're in another dimensional world. 
we're not in the real world right now even though it looks like it's normal and just a little darker but man it's trippy dude i knew it was ghosts i knew it ghosts or aliens something like that uh the approach on that is is pretty pretty cool the only way to talk to him is use the radio frequency and every so often we get some weird event that happens but yeah having to be on that island with four other people by yourself and nothing but ghosts that's terrifying like I wouldn't be able to handle that <laughs> my heart would explode uh, out of all five of these who would I be I'd probably be more like I think I think if, if my views if I was stuck on an island my views would be a little more like Jonas I, I get a little more uh, aggressive towards everything I'd be more real I'd be like look I'm not gonna trust like usually I could work with people but I could tell that if shit hits the fan like this, I am hesitant to work with anybody who gives me the smallest excuse to not believe in them or understand their, you know, game plan. Because it is so messed up. You can't really explain what's going on. Okay, look. Okay. I'm going to say I'm sorry now for what happened up there, but I do not want you to take it as an admission of guilt. Well distinction is important because I don't think anything that I said was that off base. Well, if you're going to say you're sorry... I guess the floor is yours. I'm sorry. I am. I didn't mean it to get that far. Hold on, hold on. I need to go down this way, so... Am I going the right way? Tiny woods this way. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, we'll go this way. Look, uh, and I just want to clear the air, too. Just so Ren or whoever can't use it as ammo against me. But you might have heard that I uh, went to jail at some point. I never went to jail, but I did beat up a guy and get sent to juvenile detention for it. And I just wanted you to know so it wasn't like a thing hanging over your head or anything. Why'd you do it? Why'd you, um, why'd you do it? Just, my mom got sick and then she got real sick and then this kid, Timmy Finster, threw a baseball at my head and yes, he was joking, but I don't know, I just popped. Yeah, it was as stupid as it sounds. And I'm not going to defend What happened to the guy? What happened to the other guy? Hospitalized. Not for a while, but, you know, I tried to visit him after I got out, but he wouldn't see me. My mom found out, of course, and I never really squared it with her in a way that, I don't know, things never really work out the way you want, you know? But, whatever. Are you alright? Are you... Are you okay? It's not like I'm sick or whatever. I'm fine. I'm not going to say I'm a good guy, Alex. But I'm trying to be. And that's really about all I can say. Jonas, I just hope Colonel that's enough. Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families what? during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. He said Alex. He said me. Dude, it was like a murder spree happening. He mentioned my name. Oh, is he, tell is he threatening me? What's over here? What's this? I guess we'll come back to it later. I don't know what's down here. We'll try to go back to the main street again. I think this is the direction. I'm assuming this There's so many different ways to go. I am uh, not quite sure if I'm going the right way, but I'm going to go down this way. I think that's right. Yeah, it's like down this way and then you take a left. Yeah, let's, let's do this. I do love the soundtrack to this. Definitely get you into the vibe of this game. Okay, here you go. Here you go. So this is Adler's house. That's the big gate that we, that uh, I mentioned earlier. That was mentioned earlier. I don't know if Alex mentioned it. Somebody mentioned it. Watch. I'm pretty sure. Yep, yep. Adler is safe. But we're going to the main street, so the main street is over here to the left, according to the map. This island's not that big, but it is pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though, actually, come think about it. If I actually went on an island like this, it's pretty dope. But not this island in particular, because it's creepy as fuck. Here's another rock right there. Always oh, got to go through the rocks. got to listen to the radios, man. They give you hints and shit. Lores. Oh, you gonna say? How how many of you are there? That's my voice. That's my voice. Let's go. 
All right, back on the field. Let's go. Let's go back into town. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I really am going to do our video. I think this is going to be more than part two. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not close to being done. Uh oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Womp, 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 womp. That's creepy, though. Let's go, Jonas. Apparently, we're not we're not into talking anymore. The main street is this way. Yeah, it's not taking us long to get there. There are a little bit of jump scares here and there. It actually, you know, it makes actually uh, gives me goosebumps. <laughs> this is I want to. This is whatever. But are you like religious at all? Uh, My dad said your mom wasn't, but not at all. No, not at all. My parents weren't, and I'm not either. Okay, but still, even after tonight, uh, this hasn't shaken anything loose or no, made you no, nope. made you sort of reconsider. No, nope, just ghosts. No, I, I mean we say they're ghosts. Unexplained phenomena. Yes. But when a bird looks in the mirror, she doesn't see her reflection. She sees like a bird assassin. And there's a strong possibility we're just as stupid right now. Huh. All right. Well, my mom was Methodist. My dad kind of didn't care, but. Tonight, kind of, I guess I'm just realizing a lot of it's rubbed off on me more than I thought, but I don't know. Is that? Oh my God, is that Clarissa? Whoa. She's, well, well I was going to say okay, but. She's alive. You, you're alive. Man, I've never Get the... been so happy to see you. Wow, really. what are you doing? Oh, oh, she has oh the, my God. She's doing the thing, the eye thing. Christ, this is not. I am not getting used to this. I'll be honest. Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um. Hang in there, baby. There it's right here. <laughs> okay, good try. Maybe you wanna, maybe the ghosts or whatever wanna help us somehow. Is that the like point of trying to, trying to, whatever? Oh, bye. Yo, yo, shut something? up, Jonas. I'm trying to figure this shit out. One way to find out. Larissa, how are you uh, doing? Jesus. You think you can control me, Clarissa? Are you pres not? Pres are you? Are you not? Possessed right now? Possessed. I am possessed. I am consumed with an unending fury. She was wonderful with her hands. Yet, I keep hurting, and I really don't want to. Consumed? But what are you mad at? We're, we've all been... I'm not mad, dear. I'm tired. And when you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Oh! Is she okay? Is she okay or Oh she's Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> Steady, just just take it easy. I'm fine. I can I'm fine. Okay, just take it slow. You Do just you... been yeah. through something. Do you remember what happened? Do you remember anything that happened? <sighs> I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That's it? How did I get here? We I think we were hoping you could tell us that, but I don't even know if it matters. You're here now. The usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio, and I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Oh my goodness. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. Well, no, no, no. It's Clarissa's turn already. I haven't even asked one question. What's going Everyone's on? Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the. What? We're not at the it's beach Clarissa's though. Turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be because I'm not going to waste it. What is it? Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend and your idiot best friend and your new stepbrother. Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing and I used the radio to somehow tune it in and I think it jump started everything I see but I mean come on like who knew this would happen we thought it was a weird trick of light or something Jonas now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation Clarissa seriously I can vouch for this this isn't her fault it has to be her fault of course it's her fault there's no other way this story goes she created both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my God. 
You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Whoa, because what of are you her. talking about? It would take a very sick person to see it that way. And I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. Oh. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely fly. That's why she's probably Clarissa. mad at me. Ugh, she is a it doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there. Anyone. And then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, enough. Seriously. This is... Clarissa, this is so... I, I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. She is... Enough. I mean it. Jonas, don't... Just don't think of me like... I don't. I won't. But right now, we're going to break into that office, and we're going to find the key. And we're going to go home. No. No? What do you mean, no? All the outs in free. So let's... Wait. What? Wasn't Clarissa with us like two seconds ago? That's crazy. She was... It was like she was just here. We looped uh, again. Yeah. Yeah, she was. But we're looping again. So God only knows where she is now. <sighs> you know, I don't... I don't understand how what we did in that cave is making making any of this happen. Like, what are the triangles? What are the gates? What are the... Why are there ghosts? Why... I don't know if I... Yep, this isn't budging. Well, the lock looks, uh, less than modern. Let's just brute force it, both of us. It might splinter, but we should get in. Brute force it? What is that supposed to mean? Elbow grease, shoulder, lard. We're gonna break down the door, okay? Us, together. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Let's see if Ren's plan was a good one or not. Uh, guess we'll find out. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? So what are we doing here? What's in the cabinet? To sign up for the aquatics program. Please register at the front desk. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What was that? <sighs> Never gets old. No, it doesn't. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Oh, it, it goes lower. That, here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wall stands for wave-assisted lock. Ah, they use um, that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. It says that you use them like identification tags. It must work for the gate, too. Oh, great. Let's hike it back to the gate. Oh, wait, look at this. Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Yeah, why would her stuff be here? Yeah, that's what why I Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna... Here, this is... To whom? Uh, I steal the boat and leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we have access to her place now with the, the new frequency radio, but I don't know what the hell's going on. Whom it should concern. This is a letter from her? This island and its history is a lie. Wow. Well, this is going somewhere. What, what could that what? mean? What could that mean? I want to know what's on here first. I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Force out forces outside our control. Yeah, I was going to say, like, what's that mean? Like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? I don't know. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons in the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Wait. To whosoever finds the material know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself? And then oh, it's- <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Please do not get glassy eyes over this, okay? You, we do not have to dig up some old ladies recycling. We can just go home. That's interesting. So it's basically like, it's like a psycho ass. Wait, what was that beep noise? 
What was the the radio frequency? Was it 104 or was it 102? I'm gonna walk around with it. I think it was 104. I know. I, I, the fact that you can walk around with this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm almost, we're gonna go back to Adler's house and uh, and see if I can open that gate because you know that's a free. It unlocks doors, lower frequency that I'm able to get to. That was mentioned earlier, so. I forgot what where it was to be honest. Oh, wow. Well, well. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. Huh? I brought the jacket because I like the jacket and I never said I wanted to go swimming. What? You just inferred oh, it because I asked when the door opens. <laughs> I inferred it? Hey Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, I mean... I mean, why are you here? Why? Wait, am I supposed to be doing something right now? You gotta get your dad... I gotta get dad nightcrawlers from the shop. Yeah, but we're gonna do that on our way back. Where's... Where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just <sighs> never mind, I guess. Yeah, I think Michael okay, is behind something here. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Oh, she's actually kind of Today pleasant. turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Clarissa, doesn't this... <sighs> Don't you remember... We're all on the island. Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. That is... I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I think her brother may have something to do with uh, why she's able to be free. I mean, and, you know, like it was mentioned, Alex and her brother comes here to it's go swimming. It's been a spell so. since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's uh, classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> <laughs> well, can't I just come with yeah, you? Yeah, I know, right? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. Oh, no. I don't know what's going on. So, uh, <laughs> are you like faking it or pretending or something? Pretending? Uh, no, I mean, I meant when I said that this is, this is a great day. I'm having a good time. Yeah, she became a bitch, um, I think, ever since I'm her brother died. I'm glad you do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well. This is kind of sad, actually. Too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kind of sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. I'm gonna do this. We talked ex-girlfriends mostly. Well, now I know that's not possible because I don't call them. Actually, I'm just going to stop with that joke because if I keep going, I'd be due for a little punishment. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so I actually really want a cold something. So I'm going to run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Uh, yeah. Get me a drink too. Sure. I'll be back. She's Clarissa super nice. So yeah, I think she really blamed okay, Alex I'm for here. the death of What's her brother. Story? Well, Alex's brother. The Alex first oh. edition. What's going on? I miss you a lot. I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot. That's all. 
Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night <laughs> all the nights. Uh, no, Michael, I can't. You're... you're not there. Well, sometimes I'm there. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... No problem. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? She's so nice. Uh, just stick with it. Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. Oh, you this know, is sweet. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. No way, like man. No way, man. No way, man. No way, bucko. <laughs> oh, it's you getting, call me it's getting blurry. Years. No! Come back! Yeah, Clarissa definitely blamed Alex for the death of Michael. That's why she's such a bitch to Alex. Alex, are you alright? <sighs> okay, uh, are you are you back? You've been acting super weird for like the last five minutes. Do you, do, do you know that? I mean, I let it go for the first two, but then it got stranger. Jonas, I just saw... <sighs> I think I just saw my brother. Wait, what? Where? Here? Is he? It was. Did you uh, see him it was here? back in time. Yeah. I, I was. It was like those time loops we've been experiencing, right? This was. It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? Yeah, man. <sighs> oh, good. You didn't die. Oh shit. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. How have you been? Any, uh, terror? My terror has been keeping it kind of a mild simmer, so, uh, it's a win? Better than it could have been, I guess. Yes, but if the do radio's it. the thing... Wait, where's Clarissa? We can't leave yet without her. Dude, I don't know Have where she is. Have you seen her or heard from her? We should yes. look for her. Yeah. Should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? That's what I'm doing right now, dude. So are you going to try the gate thing? I'm or... trying. I guess the radio will open this somehow. Hopefully. I did. The world. I did. You guys are fucking annoying ass people, dude. You guys are making me do all the work. I'm trying to open this. Here we go. Is it this color? It's bluish. There you go. So it has to be bluish to open stuff. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy, th happy thoughts. Please, there be a boat. Please, there be a boat. Oh my goodness, this is a good game. I, I really do enjoy the story. I know it's not really like very fast-paced action, but the the production Jesus, of this is really nice. That house is huge. That house is. That huge. lady really knew how to live. There's it's a boat like right the there. Chateau. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah. See, Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to schlep back and forth here all summer. Oh, boy. The secrets. I don't know what the secret's all about. I don't know what Adler's secret is about. It's probably pertaining to some kind of side missions or something that I'm not aware of. Enter the basement. Can I do it? Oh, shit, I can. It's a projector. Okay. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. She made a lot of... What should I call these slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? I don't think so. I didn't think so. I didn't... Negative, but... 
Maybe I just missed it. Well, at least we know if there's a chest, we'll, we'll definitely look it up. That's weird how the basement was unlocked like that. Although, the gate was locked, so I guess I'm trespassing at this point. Ooh, dude, that's a oh. nice house, though. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Huh. Well, uh... What's plan B if we can't... Keys, they... They have to be in the... Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. I mean, you could pick lock, Jonas. We saw that in part one. Just open it. It's a radio lock. Oh. Uh, sure for antiquated security. Radio lock, easy. Let's help it out. It has to be blue right there. Oh. Where is it? Come on. Give it to me. I don't know where it is. We're getting close. Nope. There you go. There you go. Got it. That is a nifty gizmo. Got it. Let's get in here. Ooh, wow. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead How'd you body get or here? something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarice is here. So everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? Oh. That's a good thing. Yeah, let's just... Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yeah. Yes. I don't care what she says. Just everyone keep your eye on her. Yeah, I just might climb through the kitchen window again. Who knows? Okay, we get it. Ha ha. Uh, okay, uh, you're possessed. You're like the worst possessed. Hope that it helps. All right. Well, I'm already upstairs, so okay, 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 go. Typewriter. Oh, it's a it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere. She said, hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. She was up to Maybe something. Maybe she was up to something. Yeah, you she ever definitely. think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. All right, so we've got a diagram. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then. What do I know? Maybe they needed to chart uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, well. Maybe. Pull a string. I'm pulling the string. Oh, that's an attic? I thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go. How do you go up? Oh, there you go. <gasps> that's the chest. I found the chest. Ooh, you know what? This might be the um the chest that takes that combination. Let's try it. 29 18 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? The I don't know something about ELF transmitters or the submarine's ways of communicating. Um, you can just say you don't know. That's okay. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Nice! Great, let's get out of here. Perfecto. How would I... How do I... How do I walk down? Alright, we got keys for the boat. Where? I got the keys. They were in the attic upstairs. In a chest. But who cares? Let's just go. What? I can't get downstairs. Oh, go downstairs. Okay. Sorry. Do we don't, do we don't need to look at anything else, do we? Uh, 
Oh, okay. You know what? I'm actually going to end it here. It's been over an hour of recording, and yes, this is a lot of content to go through, but Adler's number station, 40.01. Ah, oh, I see it right there. Okay. So maybe it is a, like a side stuff. Maybe I should have kept the radio on and see if we figure out any stuff throughout the whole thing. I don't know, man. That's a lot of... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But anyways, I'm going to end it there. We found the boat key. Will we escape? I don't know. I feel like clearly this is not the end it's not we're not just gonna get off this island like that we're gonna deal with some other crap too I, i'll do my best to do the whole adler's uh number station thing over here uh 140.1 but uh it, we don't get through it but it, it but it if it doesn't hinder me from like completing this game uh, i'm not gonna focus too much on that but for the most part this is good i don't know how i don't know what to do with clarissa how she got into the house she didn't climb through the window to be honest I do see that happening, but Alex is very skeptical about it. So I'm going to start part three with us trying to figure out the boat. Hopefully get out the island. Who knows? But definitely join me next time on Oxen Free part three. This is Oh Snap is Yan. It's me, Yan. And I'll catch you uh, next time on this game.